My name is Ngai Ngai. That's my pet name, but it's not Landla. Gloria Nkiz. And in 1987, I bought that business. Its name is Mandagaise Tradings. Uh, I named my business in my husband's name. Business is something that you do it with your hands, physically. I love it. I love it so much. We had a meeting in Hammersdale. It is where I met Petris. And Petris one day said, I'm working on something with Sandam. And he said, I'm taking you on board. I had a very good appreciation of Sanlam's history and also the good work that Sanlam has done in terms of his broader upliftment, partnership and improvement of the standards of living amongst many South Africans. Sanlam is a hundred year old insurance business. One of the legs on which this company was built is empowerment. Initially, empowerment of the poor Afrikaans people, its real target population, but then with the changes in South Africa, also increasingly black economic empowerment and driving that. Black economic empowerment is about redress and bringing people that were excluded into the mainstream. Way back in 2003, Patrice Mutsipe led a consortium that bought 8% of Sunlam for 1.3 billion. Ubuntu Butu is the initial vehicle that uh, Patrice set up to engage with Sunlam. And it started off as the empowerment partner of Sunlam. So Ubuntu Butu was established to bring together uh, individuals to be shareholders in terms of the equity that we bought. You had a company for women, a company for youth, uh, companies that involved workers, trade unions, teachers. And we wanted all of them to be part of this investment that we made in Sunlam for the long term and for them to benefit from the growth and success of Sunlam over, over many, many years. And then what in turn we did ourselves was to create Sunlam Provincial Advisory Boards. We opened ourselves to be guided by them with the way they understand the market. So therefore, if the Ubuntu Butu shareholders help Sunlam grow, and Sunlam's share price grows as a result of that growth, so does the Ubuntu Butu share. My name is Lynette Mashangu. I'm from Mpumalanga province. I'm currently employed in the uh, Department of Health, uh, working as a pharmacist. I was called to a meeting uh, whereby it was discussed what Ubuntu Butu will be doing and they were kind of looking for nominees to be part of the shareholders uh, of Ubuntu Butu Mpumalanga. Each was offered a thousand shares for free. We didn't have to pay anything and um, it would take about 10 years before we could get any dividends, before we could make any money. It was exciting. My thought of Structuring Ubuntu Butu the way it was done, diversifying its shareholdership to ordinary uh, South African citizens, I think it was a great idea. It, it fairly gave people in a, a rare opportunity. Being a shareholder in a, com in a company, it's not something so common. And it's not an opportunity that, you know, just come to, to you the way it came to us. Many people that participated today live in houses being paid by their shares, their kids have been educated, they started businesses, and the effects on the community are, are really great. The value has increased from the zero that they started off with. The value now is well in excess of a thousand rands a share. The individuals who got the shares did very well. Their stake grew from two billion to over 20 billion. It changed lives massively. This piece of land is in Trefontaine. This is the piece of land that I bought with plans of developing it further. My wish and my plan is that uh, if I can have at least two units parallel to each other here with some space in between for the carport and um, it, it's a plan, it's a wish. The good thing Patrice has done, he gave us equal shares, all of us. There was no one who was saying, I've got so much. You've got so much. He gave us 
equal shares. As Patrice gave money to people in business, that money generates, as I'm doing in my business, I'm multiplying that money. And that money also helps the economy of South Africa. I always get these dividends. I just top up my business. Maybe I'll order a lot of stuff so that from these dividends, I can get more profits. My business, it's growing each and every day. That's my good story about UB. I'll call it a peace of mind. I won't sell my shares, not ever. My shares must make this Ubuntu water grow and must always give my family and my kids the dividends so that they can live. You always walk tall because you know I've got something to, to hold on it. These are my shares. This is my peace of mind. With a growing middle class comes an improvement in people's standards of living, better education, a commitment and a stake in the future of the country, but also a growing market. And it was relevant for Sunlam to sell the solutions that we produce as Sunlam to this growing market. I saw this townhouse which was on sale. I needed finance. I decided to sell about half of my shares. It feels great owning your first house and not owing it. I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to rent it out. Upon renting it out, a few years later, I decided to buy another property. So now it helps me in a way that the money from the other rental, it's able to subsidize the payment of the second house. From being an Ubuntu Butu shareholder, it has helped me. I was able to use dividend money, you know, productively. So it gives you freedom. It gives you power, basically. In 2014, after the 10-year period of, with Ubuntu Butu, it's been massively profitable. There was this pool of 16, 18 billion rands available. And this is where the idea of African Rainbow Capital started. It's using the capital that Ubuntu Butu accumulated to start investing on itself. There's been growth in terms of assets. There's been new investment coming through African Rainbow Capital. I understand the business better now, so I will not be selling my shares anytime soon. Helping the schools, helping the little kids. I just look at life differently because I've got grandkids. I know what it means to have a little someone around you. You always wish her or him to be happy. That's why I donate, and not much, because I'm not a multi-millionaire somebody, but I just donate with whatever I have. Salam also has to do well by doing good. And you won't do well if you don't do good, if you don't give back and don't make a contribution. And of course, the success that we've had in the business has enabled us to do that. The number one issue that we face is unemployment. And there are many, many reasons for that. One of the fundamental underlying reasons is that our education system quite simply has failed us. And we identified 75 schools in impoverished areas. And we got involved there at building the infrastructure and the ability of the school to deliver maths and science education. My name is Mr. Pompey Suku. I'm the school principal at Dr. Makan Mystery Primary. When I arrived here in 2014, I inherited a school with a serious sanitation problem. The sewer pipes were all blocked, unhygienic, unhealthy for us to work in. And I received a call from Cape Town. That is where our relationship with Sanlam has begun. Fixed up all our water leaks. And now the place looks nice and clean and fresh. When I got the confirmation that Sanlam will come on board to assist us at the school, it was a dream come true. It was my prayers have been answered. Sanlam has financed and provided workshops that our maths teachers go and attend. And these maths workshops are intense. 
the lessons become much, much more interesting for children. Uh, I can safely say that, you know, we have right now the strongest and the best maths teachers in around the Newlands area. Sanlam has also sponsored us 35 computers. The effect that it has had on our children in terms of academic improvements has been seen clearly. I can't think of any other place where, you know, there are so many opportunities. And we will set to capitalize on these opportunities. Ubuntu Butu, Sanlam, and the African Rainbow Capital, individually and together. And, uh, you know, where everybody is better off. Uh, these are the kinds of partnerships made in heaven. Of course we've got to run world-class companies, and of course we've got to be very competitive and we've got to be profitable. But side by side with that, it's also important to, to have a sense of humanity, a sense of compassion, uh, a sense of caring, and a commitment to, to help others. We've been on a road for empowerment over, over the last 20 odd years, and it's been, it's been a great story. And now, of course, Sanlam finds itself in a totally different scenario, much more transformed, much more reflective of South Africa, and uh, in 34 countries on the African continent. And as the African countries within the African continent develop, we will be part of that. For companies to be successful, they have to learn and apply the concept of doing well by doing good. And that's a responsibility that all of us have got.